Okay, so welcome to this, the first in a series of three videos looking at traffic light animations in Scratch. So go to Scratch, search for me, D Maidens, and what you should find in there is Studios. Go to Studios and you're looking at the Traffic Light Studios. We're going to look at Traffic Lights 1 now. So clicking on Traffic Lights 1, make sure you look to see inside the project. What everybody will do is press green flag to start running without thinking about what's going on. It talks about first of all what to do with this so we do not run this in full screen so don't click this button up here. We want to be looking at the controller so I'm clicking on the controller down here and make sure you're looking at its scripts. It's talking about some commands in here um, to control it and to get rid of the instructions we press the spacebar. So I press the spacebar I've got rid of the instructions I'm just going to make the window smaller so I've got more area for code. So what have we got? We've run the code, the car is waiting patiently at the traffic light and we've got some commands over here, red, the traffic light's already on red. Press amber, changes to amber, press green and hey presto the car goes. The software generates new cars periodically which will go with the traffic light's green but if we change them back to red and amber then the car should stop and indeed back to red. The idea of this is to show you that a computer is indeed just this box down here, a controller, maybe not what you're used to for a computer, but that's what it is at the end of the day, it's sequencing these lights. We've got these manual controls here, so this may be something you're not aware of in Scratch. We can actually action, the, even though the Scratch script is running now, as we press these we actually interact directly with these buttons and we can change them. So the whole thing's running live and we can actually recode it as we're running. So the idea is can we sequence the lights automatically rather than us pressing the buttons. So let's try it. Let's um, make it red and then the sequence is red and amber. Um, and just to get this one going it's a green flag so I'm just going to click on it. So this is now running and our traffic lights seem to be red and amber all the time. Can I change them to green? Okay, oh, that's changed the screen, but that's stopped the script running over here, so I'll start that again. But this isn't going red, red and amber, why not? Obviously I've got no weights in there, so I'm going to put a couple of weights in just for a second, see if it works. Oh yeah, it's going red, red and amber, back to red. So I need to get my sequence right, so I need to go to green, I then need to wait, just going to change that down to one second. And from green, what do we do? We go to amber, wait again, wait for another second, and then we'll loop back around and go back to red. So is it working? Are our light sequenced? Let's click on that block to make it run again. Red and amber, green, amber, red. red oh, it's kind of going quite fast. Um, what do I want to do? Well, probably when it's on red, I need to wait for a little bit. And when it's on green, I need to wait for a little bit. So after a red broadcast, I think I'll get it to wait three seconds. And after a green broadcast, I'll get it to wait three seconds. Does this look better? Green, one, two, three. Amber, red, one, two, three. Amber, green. Brilliant. So I've sequenced my lights. Okay, thank you.